hey, Keto Crate came in and it's not even near the end of the month. Let's dig in. Welcome to Radical Geek YouTube, and today we have the Keto Crate for this month, and it's been really late the past few months, uh, but this time when I came home from Buckeye Game Fest, it was actually already here and waiting, so uh, good, things are uh, back on track for being on time. No, I hadn't opened it. Yes, I am at work, but... Uh, I have a little lull between meetings and technically I'm still on vacation, so I'm not too fussed about it. But I did want to open it up and share with you guys this month's Keto Crate. And you know also how much I love diving into all of these things. So let's see, I have a mess. I mean, there we go. Nothing's gonna be perfect. So once again, Green Chef, I guess this is gonna be a monthly thing. I do intend to actually order the Green Chef so we can review them. I keep saying that, but I don't get around to it. We will, I swear. One thing I'm not seeing is the big insert. So maybe it's further in, or maybe they decided to use less paper. But I'm a little disappointed about that. I always love that because it usually had a recipe and then, uh, you know, a couple inspirational stories, things like that. But that's all right. So, uh, okay, so there's an advertisement for K's Cheese Bites, which, looking by the picture, it looks an awful lot like um, Moon Cheese. So, let me see. There you go. Cheddar Cheese Bites. Oh, and there's a sample. So, later this week, we'll open these and eat them, but I already did my entire plan for the day, and these weren't in it, so... I'm not going to try any of these snacks today, but we'll try them and just do random reviews here and there. Uh, I also know that I missed my Monday video, but oh, I was just fried. So, but we got this one, and then we've got Cheese Friday, and then once again, we're back on track with our Sunday live streams. Sounds great to me. Anyway, so these are Cheddar Chipotle Cheese Bites. Uh, one package is a serving. That's 28 grams. 170 calories, uh, 13 grams total fat, 2 grams total carbohydrates, one of which is fiber, and less than one is total is sugar. So that's probably that's from the cheese. And protein is 10 grams. Uh, ingredients are cheddar cheese, milk, bacterial culture, salt, and calcium chloride, vegetable color, annatto, uh, microbial enzymes. Has cellulose. Chipotle BBQ seasoning, which is, oh, there's where the sugar is, which is sugar, spices, including chipotle pepper, sea salt, tomato powder, onion powder, garlic powder, natural flavorings. Oh, they ruined it. Also contains maltodextrin, yeast extract, citric acid, extractives of paprika, and canola oil. So they are so close. So close because there it is right at the end the maltodextrin the canola oil well hooey i mean these cheese things they don't need to add that stuff because uh, obviously other companies have already done it without adding those ingredients and they've been really good so they kind of missed the boat however it is super low on the ingredients list so i'll still i'll still open them and eat them i'm not that uh, fussed about it by the way we're at work it's requiring copious amounts of coffee today, more than I would usually have. Uh, coffee, coffee isn't unlimited. I know a lot of times we portray it as unlimited, and I know I'm a, a coffee fiend, and I love it. I did plan everything out for today to allocate for the fact that I was going to have a little bit extra, but man, for such a chill little con, I am just having a hard time recovering. Might have just been because it's been so long. Also, I'm sorry because it does seem like the light is fluctuating in this video, and I 
I haven't the foggiest idea why. I'm having technical issues, and I don't know what the deal is, but hopefully by Sunday night, I'll be all set up back in my regular studio, and we'll be all back to normal. Except, I might, well, no, not this week. Next week, I might try StreamYard. I've had a subscription, and I've just been, uh, since everything was functioning properly, haven't made that switch over because I didn't want things to go wrong. So, okay, next thing is Monk Pack. It's a keto granola bar. It says one gram sugar, two grams net carbs, four grams protein, plant-based, grain-free, gluten-free, coconut cocoa chip. So, I don't know, 50-50 on the Monk Packs. I like some of them, but some of them have uh, less than exciting ingredients to me. So, let's take a look here. 140 calories. Serving size is one bar, 32 grams. It's, it's, a, it's a small bar, but it's not a bad size. Uh, total fat is 13 grams. Saturated fat, 6. I don't know why I read that out, because normally I, I don't, and I don't really care. Uh, total carbs is 12 grams. Uh, dietary fiber is 4. Allulose is 5.5. Uh, protein is 4 grams. Ingredients are almonds, coconut, allulose, soluble tapioca fiber, palm kernel oil, vegetable glycerin, natural flavor sea salt, alkalized cocoa powder, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, mixed to cofferols, vitamin B for freshness, sunflower lecithin, monk fruit extract. So, I don't know, I would eat it. Sounds good. We'll probably try it. Uh, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the tapioca fiber, soluble tapioca fibers, but I also don't have an objection to them. I just notice that sometimes if I eat something that has that high up in the ingredients that later my stomach is experiences discomfort, that's a personal experience and that will vary across the board for everybody. So no issues there whatsoever. Oh, a second pack of these case, uh, but this one is a uh, keto medley cheese bites with cheddar, cashews, and pecans, five grams of net carbs per serving. Uh, nine grams of protein. Let's see. Uh, 270 calories for the package. Uh, 24 grams total fat. 7 grams total carbs, two of which are fiber. One is sugar. That means the rest is starch because there's no, no, nothing else. Uh, let's see. Cheddar cheese, milk, bacterial culture, salt, calcium chloride, vegetable color, and automicrobial enzymes cellulose, oil roasted, salted pecans, pecan halves, canola oil, salt oil, roasted, salted cashews, cashew, canola oil, uh, canola oil, and salt. So I don't know. I'm really questioning this nutrition label because it doesn't sound, uh, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, seven grams total carbs, uh, and it's the cashews and the pecans that are giving the rest of the carbs. I said starch, but maybe, maybe not. It's whatever. So it's the nuts. I don't know. I'm not, again, with the canola oil, which can be inflammatory for some people, especially people like me with rheumatoid arthritis. But again, it's such a small amount. I don't know if I really care. And this one doesn't have the maltodextrin in the seasoning, so we'll probably try this one first. Uh... Again, cheddar, cashews, and pecans. So it seems pretty good. We'll try it out. Good to go chocolate chip blondies. So these are little cookies. I can't, I, you know, we've had these before. And I, I can't remember if I liked them or not. I, I do recall them being similar in texture to the Perfect Keto uh, cookies, which I like to put in my cycling pockets because they hold up. So let's take a look. Uh, good to go chocolate chip blondies. So 13 grams fat, uh, 18 grams total carbs, uh, eight of which are fiber and five are which are erythritol. So uh, that leaves the uh, four net, oh, five net carbs one gram of actual sugar and protein of five grams. Uh, ingredients are almond flour, erythritol, inulin, uh, chocolatey chips, 
which is unsweetened chocolate, inulin, erythritol, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, vanilla extract, and stevia leaf rebem. Vegetable glycerin, apple cider vinegar, natural flavor, sea salt, baking soda, ground chia seeds, sunflower oil, rosemary extract, and mixed tocopherols uh, to preserve freshness. A lot of the ingredients have the little asterisk next to it that mean that they are organic certified. Uh, a reminder that it contains almonds from the almond flour and may contain other tree nuts. Uh, seems good to me. I don't have any issues with ground chia seeds. I eat baking soda without an issue. Uh, there is inulin, which a lot of people are reactive to, but not me. Yay! So I'm going to pack these in my pocket and take them on a bike ride soon. And I will let you know. You guys, dang it. Oops. There are two of these high low poofs. This is going to sound weird, but I'm wondering if these aren't doing so well in the cheesy poof market because I also saw that they were on sale in Amazon warehouse. Uh, as you as you may recall, uh, we've tried these and both times I said they tasted all right, but I like the schoolyard snacks, snacks better. Uh, the schoolyard snacks are crunchier. These are poofier, but uh, ingredients wise schoolyard snacks were much uh, less inflammatory and uh, whereas schoolyard snacks cheese puffs have one carb these have five grant five carbs uh, yes to our uh, fiber but you know over the course of a day it adds up and if you're doing a 30 total or 20 total it really adds up. Do you want to use five or one? Uh, it comes down to questions like that sometimes. Sounds crazy. But uh, the nutrition, other, I'm sure that the seasonings are a little different, but just, you know, they're both 130 calories, seven grams of fat, uh, five total carbs, two of which are fiber, and 12 grams of protein. Uh, let's see. The ingredients on the blue pack are slightly easier to read. It's a... Uh, Skim cheese powder, which has skim milk, cheese cultures, and salt enzymes, high oleic sunflower oil, hydrolyzed pea protein, tapioca starch, tapioca fiber, uh, and cheddar cheese, which contains pasteurized milk and cheese enzymes, salt enzymes, yeast extract, salt, onion powder, guar gum, sunflower lecithin, garlic powder, uh, natural flavor, citric acid, uh, lactic acid, paprika extract, turmeric extract, and mixed tocopherols to preserve freshness. So minor differences in the ingredients between the two, but nothing major or shattering. I won't not eat these, but I'm not ever going to go out of my way to buy them. Whereas just, you know, even though they are higher in the total carbs, when I come across a good deal on the nacho cheese high-low almond flour chips, those I'll 100% buy. They are freaking delicious, so they are worth it. So it's just that I have an alternative to this. I also like the little high-low uh, nut mixes. They are a little bit high as well, similar to these K's uh, uh, mixed nuts, but only not with cashews. It's usually almonds or peanuts or things like that, and I do like those. So here we go. Uh, high key vanilla wafers. Uh, I've bought these and I actually have them. I keep meaning to use them with some pudding, but that I've never been. I haven't been willing to really spend the carbs for them lately. So uh, two servings per container. That's fine. Seven uh, little mini cookies that are in between the size of a nickel and a qu and a quarter. Sorry, I had a little hiccup there. Uh, total fat, 10 grams. Saturated fat, 4 grams. Total carbs, 14 grams. 4 grams dietary fiber, less than 1 gram sugar, and 9 grams of erythritol. So that's why you get your only 1 gram net carb. Uh, ingredients are almond flour, erythritol, butter, cream, milk, natural flavors, resistant cassava fiber, egg whites, inulin, 
natural vanilla flavor with other natural flavors, stevia extract, monk fruit extract, baking soda, salt, guar gum, xanthan gum. So, you know, it still has some things that I'm not that are not my favorites, but nothing that I would consider a bad ingredient and 100 percent high key stuff tastes fantastic they have got these little mini cookies down so definitely yeah. happy to get that pack in here legendary foods hot fudge sunday tasty pastry i don't know we'll probably try it i haven't been the biggest fan of these i know a lot of people who really freaking love them and I didn't like the original version, and I don't remember if I tried the other sample that we got that was the new version, or if my spouse ate it before I had a chance to remind them to let me taste it. So we'll probably taste this one just so I can give you my opinions and like uh, complain about it some more, because you know how I love to complain. So let's see, serving size, one pastry. The bag has one pastry. It is really fat, so there's that. Uh, total fat is 8 grams. Uh, total carbs is 24. Uh, 7 of which are fiber and 12 are erythritol. So, you know, 4 net carbs if you do net. But man, if you are a total carb counter, you have basically eaten most of your carbs for the day in one teensy little pastry. You really have to think about that. Uh, 20 grams of protein. Uh, ingredients, a protein blend of micellar casein, uh, calcium caseinate, collagen peptides, whey protein isolate, uh, erythritol, polydextrose, high oleic sunflower oil, water, glycerin, palm oil, contains less than 2% of vanilla extract, a cellulose, natural flavors, coconut oil, xanthan gum, sea salt, Cocoa processed with alcohol with cocoa processed with alkali sunflower lecithin, citric acid, malic acid, glycosides, stevia, gum arabic, modified cellulose, sucralose, tapioca starch, and baking soda. I am like speeding through these, but man, all these ingredients are a mouthful. And yeah, so I promise we'll we'll open it, we'll taste it. Who cares? You guys, hooray! My favorite, the salted butter porking good pork rinds. Uh, 3.5 servings. It's two tops, just so you know. But we'll do it as is. Per serving is 80 calories, 5 grams of fat, uh, 0 carbs, and 8 grams of protein. Ingredients are pork rinds cooked in pork fat, uh, butter buds, which are a milk solid and non-fat dry milk, and salt, natural flavored salt and salt. So, salt. There's lots of salt. Hooray! I love this flavor. So, that was awesome. And, holy cow, you guys, it's the uh, Mission Meats Beef Stick. I love Mission Meats. Not only is their company super awesome because most of, a lot of their proceeds go to charity, plus they actually go and uh, do charitable works with some of their funds, their ingredients cannot be matched. They are fantastic. I am excited for this meat stick. In fact, I might have to go and look at what I've got in my food plan for today. Um, ingredients are beef. Water, salt, uh, citric acid, cultured celery powder. The, it's really tiny because it's a meat stick, so I have to uh, strain to read it. Uh, baking powder, uh, sea salt, black pepper, red pepper, garlic powder, citric acid, onion powder, and stuffed in a beef collagen casing so yeah like i said really good i actually buy the uh they they call them the graze bars but they're actually just like a little bar of meat i love to take these out in my cycling jersey it's almost always one of the things that's in my little pocket lunch i'm going to show you guys sometime i'm going to pack my pocket lunch and show you what i mean by that so you'll have a good understanding 
And then the last thing is this Jimmy Keto uh, fudge pudding. Uh, I'm going to actually wind up giving this to my non-keto kid. I remember something about this that just turned me off, and I don't remember what it was. But it's 19 grams fat, 5 net carbs, and 0 added sugars, uh, fudge peanut butter pudding. It's fiber and fats blend of soluble corn fiber. That's what it was. Number one ingredient, soluble corn fiber. Uh, peanut butter, which contains peanuts, nuts, and, cano and oh, coconut oil. Water, allulose, erythritol, cocoa powder, powder natural flavors, mono and diglycer diglycerides, uh, hydrogenated soybean oil, Absorbic acid, citric acid, ghee, butter, butter oil, uh, tocopherin, acetate, salt, organic uh, guar gum, organic gum, acacia, and xanthan gum, and stevia. So it's basically gums and fiber and uh, not great fiber, soluble corn fiber. That's what it was. And... Nutrition facts is at least the it's the one cup, which by the way though it's really tiny because the cup itself looks like a regular size pudding cup, but it's only full to here. Which you can't see on the cam. There you can kind of see there. There you go. How like a bunch of the cup is empty. So you're really not getting a lot of bang for your buck there. Uh, let me angle it right. So calories 250 calories total fat is 19 grams total carbs there it was total carbs 43 grams of which 18 are fiber 5 grams are sugar so that's what it was uh, alcohol of oh, sugar alcohols are seven and protein are four so but you know it has some stuff to it that are good but it's just Man, that's a lot for total carbs that are all coming. I know they're coming from fiber and stuff that a lot of people can subtract, and it's only five net. But I just find that super hard to justify. And quite frankly, I find that very disappointing that Jimmy labels this keto. And I just, I'm not on board with it. But let's end out on a high note. And we'll just talk about this and say nice things about Mission Meats again. And I 100% encourage you to buy Mission Meat products. I don't normally care if you buy products or not, but I will say these are an amazing company to support. My dog just made like a really weird noise, you guys. I'm going to get going, and I'm also going to head off to a meeting at 10 o'clock. Talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.